Hello and welcome back to Dungeons and Dragons Ravenloft to the Stone Prophet. When we last left off, um, well, we found a bunch of helmets, which is kind of nice. Um, got the Helmet of Telepathy, which is one of the reasons why we came here. Also got a few Eyes of Nefertiti. Also, we have the Helm of Brilliance, which gives a constant light effect, which is something we really want. Um, also got some upgrades to armor and the like, um, all which is really, really nice. Um, so because we don't have to worry about casting light all the time, uh, that freed up spell slots for both Yansu and Saldura. So let's see, Yansu, um, removed light, uh, gave him a chill touch, excuse me, a chill touch because, well, this is a desert, so we're probably going to have to deal with, uh, you know, hot things that we want to cool down more than cold things that we want to heat up. Um, also, notice that I have a level 3 spell slot, so I added fireball to that. Yep, I'm... <laughs> I mean, I, I don't need to heat up a lot of things, but every once in a while, fireball's nice. Uh, for prayer, um... Three Cure Light Wounds, uh, Create Water and a Bless, uh, still the two aids, Flame Blade, Slow Poison, and Spiritual Hammer, and nothing really has changed over here. I wish there was a Detect Magic, that would be really nice, especially with all of these items, because you don't know if it's magical or not, unless you're either reading the um, walkthrough, which I am because I got the uh, GOG version that uh, includes the clue book, which is nice. Um, or you managed to find the um, improved identify spell, which we will find soonish. But let's rest up here. One casters to heal the party? Yes, of course. And let's head back in. Now, we're over here. We've got this whole area we haven't explored yet, so... Might as well do that before we uh, call ourselves finished with the uh, level. Let's see here. Now the entrance all the way down here. And then up in here. Aha. Uh -huh. Ah, uh -huh. there it is. Hello. Okay. Further on, there's a room. Stuff in here? Maybe. Well, there's a scroll. Chill touch. Well, I've already got that memorized, but it's not a bad thing to have on hand. Let's see. Down here. Huh. Ah, that's an illusionary wall. <laughs> and then what? feels like an actual wall? I mean, it looks like there's a pressure plate down there, but... Huh. Nope, that's just the, um... That's never good. Protection from evil. Do I know this one? No, I do now. Yansu, why would you not have the, uh... 
such a normal spell like protection from evil. Well, this is not my actual spell book. Uh, this is a spare spell book that I grabbed before running off. I see, that makes sense. Ooh. Well, this is going to be useful. Yes, I can imagine. And plenty more potions of healing as well. Aye. Also, hand me that sack. We're going to put our teleportation uh, stones in there. I guess that makes sense. So, let's see. That seems to be just about everywhere. There's a corridor up here. Let me see if that actually is something. Nope. Okay, well. And yep, that's the lower level. Hmm. Yes, uh, how about we just uh, get ourselves out of here? I guess that makes sense. Let's, uh, go help that poor woman. Yes, I suppose that was the reason we went down there in the first place. Aye. Hmm. Maybe I should wear the helmet. Alright. We have returned with a particular helm. There appears to be an aura about it, yet how it might aid you to speak, we're not certain. Yet, you shall receive my words. Oh. Allow me to introduce myself, for I am called Min Deer. The helm, the helm of telepathy is with you, is it not? Mm-hmm. Yes, thank the sun you found it. Though I have foreseen its existence, I have been unable to leave this place, much less search for it. Dear woman, it's as though the evil this place has made you, uh, or has made of you an enemy and one to be fought without mercy. What has done this? Priestess of Set, one-time protector of Senmet, rotting corpse of evil. Of these, two titles does Isu Rakotep claim, while the third I give her gladly. That undead one took from me speech and sight, her goal to hide the truth I keep. The time draws nigh. Uh oh. If the powers of this place take such measures to silence you, then your words are of interest. What could you tell us of this land? Har Akir. Hardly a land, this place. No more than a bit of sand as harsh as its name. The wind blows and the storms follow. The sands cut the air like a thousand blades. Then affliction, the disease comes to strike us down. We wither, we rot and die. All is the will of Anktapot. I see. So the gypsies definitely didn't bring the uh, disease. The disease was al always here. Uh, what is this truth? How we might help you reveal it? The prophecy speaks of those who will... Could it be you? Ah, yes, the timing, the signs, it must be. Here, in blindness and pain, I have awaited your arrival. Know this. The blowing sands have at last revealed the obelisk. It awaits. I alone might lead you within it. Uh, earlier mentioned an anctipot. Yes. Say it is one word, alone and unadorned. Anctipot. It is he who rules this land, who masters sand and frightens souls. Once, long ago, Anctipot ruled as pharaoh of a nation, both it and he as great as any union of land and king. It did not last. 
the exact things no mortal knows. Yet he made enemies. Now Unctapat lies dreaming, his kingly robes but the shred and tear of a mummy's wrap. Oh my. Lead us within an obelisk. With all due respect for the injuries you've suffered, how might a blind woman lead a party anywhere? In the catacombs beneath the well, where the helm of telepathy you found, lies the shrine of a mortal woman, one once favored by the gods. Mm -hmm. Nefertiti was her name, a woman of beauteous gifts, including magical eyes by which certain secrets were revealed to her. In a vision, these two eyes appeared before me, centered in the dark circle of my thoughts. With them, I might see and in seeing lead you within the obelisk. Bring them to me. But know this, one of the eyes alone shall not do. Both must be recovered. Well, you are in luck. Um. Dear woman, I confess I am confused. You speak of Anctopot as a terror, but it is not Itsu Recorder or perhaps Sekhmet who has brought you this terrible condition? Were Anctopot my enemy, my bones would long ago have lain open upon the sand, bleached and cracked by the sun. Isu is enemy enough for the likes of me, and Senmet long destroyed. Hmm. Why should we seek out, seek out these eyes you speak? Are uh, we to be no more than a runner of errands for an old blind woman? Oh, come on, Seldora. I mean, she needs to live. Take your time in deciding. Please, you have so much time. <laughs> a river of it flowing around you like a golden age. How long do you think it will be before the rotting disease of Harakir strikes you down? Even I am not immune. Yes, take your time. Learn too late that all I seek is to lead you. Lead you to the heart of the mystery. Drown in all the time you have, or answer my simple request. You may yet leave this place alive. Still your thoughts, woman. The eyes of Nefertiti are with us. Your passion concerning them proves sin uh, the sincerity of your heart. Uh, here are the eyes which... Uh, eyes. Will you join us now and show us the entrance to the obelisk? As fate directs me, I shall join you. As my inner visions demand, I shall find the way within the obelisk. For what lies within, whatever it may be, holds the key to a larger fate, that of Harakir and all her people. But know you this, the fates of which I speak guarantee you no safety. The trail ahead shall be a harsh one, all the more so because you must now protect this blind old woman. Ah, I see. So we are definitely going to have to drop somebody. On the bright side, uh, either of these people will just wait in the place that um, we found them in. And this is just going to be a simple fetch quest. So we're all at escort quest. So, um, of the two, we will drop uh, the troll. Angrug, go back. Go hide in desert. No one want Angrug. No one ever want him. Ah, oh, we want Angrug, but at the same time, the game only allows us to have four members in our party. So, let's see. Uh, yep, this is our sack. Uh, looks like uh, Onkrog just handed you all of his stuff, which is fine. If you've noticed, uh, she's holding on to the eyes of Neferti. I don't think she's able to uh, use any weapons. And we'll take that salve as well. Let's see, and that is definitely a uh, robe of no pluses, and as you can see, she has permanently got the blind status on her. Well, let's uh, hasten our movement to at least to the uh, village, and we can go to the obelisk from there.
All right. And yes, Mindir is a level 3 cleric, human female, neutral good. And at one point we are definitely going to explore this village because there's a lot of goodies in here, but to start with, we're going to nip on over into... Uh, this place because it has a whole bunch of goodies. Pick up scroll. Awakening Anctapot. From the depths of the ancient Sphinx to Pharaoh's rest, to our own graves, our search for knowledge has taken us far. Of these who began the quest, I alone survive. Am I a coward? Perhaps so. For though the sea could have finally known, I shall not use it. I will not awaken the sleeping Anctapot. At best, I shall commit the methods to writing. Then smile when I think of the fools who will one day read this. The sleep in which Anctapot has fallen is too deep for mortal means to rouse him. Most magic shall also fail. Yet Anctapot himself has provided a method. A certain gong which has been established near his chambers. It possesses the power to bring him forth. If you read this, heed my morning. The action is folly. Only death and destruction await those who would awaken the mummy lord. A magical gong. I suppose we should probably take a hold of this. Yes. Also, let's just hand you the Helm of Telepathy because, um... It's not a plus one or anything. Let's see anything over there? No. But we've got a shield, which we're definitely going to hold on to. Some more chain mail, but hmm. I think I like the red and a broadsword. Which should be a bit of a bonus. Well, let's see, that's a uh, short sword plus two. Which does 1d6, 1d8 plus two. Hmm. Broadsword might be actually a downgrade. 1d8, 1d6. Okay, the battle axe is about the same as the short sword, and you can use both of them at the same time. Nice! Alright, let's head over to the obelisk. It's not that far from here, I don't think. Let's see. I don't think I've been there yet. So, I guess, um... That is going to be a place that I'm gonna have to go and find. Luckily it shouldn't be too hard. Nope, it isn't. It should be this direction to the northeast. Oh, is this it? Nope. But at least it's a... Oh. A whole bunch of water if we needed it. That's not a good sign. I'm glad that there are um, 
you know, ruins and buildings and the like around here, because it gives you at least some feeling of, uh, ah, directly south of us, the obelisk. But that'll be for next time. For when we come back, we will be entering the obelisk. Have a good one, folks. Have a good one.